First, I do care about the turtles, and I do not like straws because of that shore. I love a straw. I love a good straw. I love sucking on shit. <laughs> not dicks or anything. Nothing 1, homosexual. 1, 15, 10. <laughs> <laughs> not, nothing homosexual. I 1, 3, 20, that makes sense. <laughs> Okay. He's That's right. gonna be in the opening video. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There is no one like you. <laughs> you are. But I'm, I'm gonna fall around and make my whole fucking album distorted, and they gon' they gonna be like that boy edgy as fuck. Yeah, fuck. TK 803. Coming heavy with the weight in, feel one day with the hoes and Jesus hand held. Give a fuck how a man feel. Whole world at a standstill, stigmatized. Donald Trump, they will not criticize. Still question Obama like my nigga lied. White girls boosting so my dick can ride. Out here switching sides. Cost shit to mind the window cause they living blind. And they saw that showing. I swear my flow, how I'm how these hoes got open and you know pops joking. If you expect forgiveness, I'm one of your seven victims. I was free of heaven's prison, these are split decisions. And I think I get the misses, but I get the masses. My whole arm, there are no walls. I ain't kissing asses, the shit, and I don't stop. Don't stop. She ain't flaws, the end, and she won't call her. You didn't see her coming, people are screaming, running, baby, like babies, why they didn't need enough to drive. Horse power is needed, punch it, smoke a weed, I'm blunted, no, this needs a stun, ain't me like Jesus, first. I 
follow that I keep consumption super saying wanna be I eat the peanut buzzin' for your family they ugly You can keep your cousin most people puzzling You know my time is by the hour and I need a hundred I see your ship and see a sunken missing me she keep on cutting she a keeper love a hot box a beamer bucket My demon she seen a sucker she bring me need me so fucking here for long haul press hold the god call Hey Craig. Alright. How's it going, dude? It's going good. It's uh, 11.31, my friend. Yes. You know what that means? Yes. What does it mean? We're starting earlier than usual. Uh, no. No, no. <laughs> We're starting at the same time as usual, even though we told everybody yesterday that we were starting earlier than usual. Well, what do you, I uh, what we do you have to say about to. that, Craig? What do you have to say about I that? I had a good day. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> that what you have to say. I, know, I was just chilling at the house. I was having a good time, just sitting back, you know. Uh huh. I ate some steak. I was having a nice, relaxed evening. I cleaned out my toolbox. I cleaned out my console. Uh huh. I had a nice day. I had an outer body experience today, Charlie. An out of body experience. Yes. How? What was your out of body experience? So I went and test drive. Drove. Oh, that's not out of body. No, what? It was the you know what body. an out of body experience <laughs> is? <laughs> no, no, no. Hear me out. I went and test drove the car today. It was a Crown Big. And it was an outer body experience, Charlie, because I sat in that car and I was like, oh, yes, this is this is it. You know what I mean? Like, no. I will have a car like this one day. Maybe not today. <sighs> But I will, you know, because that that was a nice and it, it like it purred. It was it was uh, it was it was amazing. It was like, you know, like whenever you're looking for a haircut and like none of them like fit you perfectly, and then like you know you meet the right barber and they cut your hair like so well and like you look in the mirror and you're like, oh yeah, this is it. This is my look. Yeah. yeah. It was like that kind of. So not an out of body experience. You know what an out of body experience is? I want you to define. <laughs> no, try and define it felt like what out of body. It was out of body. Oh, wait, because actually, it felt like no. I was the car. Creighton, hold on. Before we go anywhere, the weather today in Adams <laughs> County, Idaho, was thirty-eight degrees Fahrenheit. Damn, Idaho, you cold as fuck in April. <laughs> wait, is it May? It's May. You said fuck, April. Fuck, I said it's, April. It's almost the end. It's of the May, end of May, dude. A Crown Vic, big goals, Creighton. Dot, dot. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, precipitation was sixteen percent. Humidity was seventy. I never understand these things. How do they know the, to the goddamn hundredth de- decimal point? They're guessing. 16? Wait, is that the British weather? We no, this, this is just thing? Google weather. You said the British weather is more accurate. Yeah, but I don't give a fuck about that. I'm just looking at the weather. <laughs> well, you give it, you're giving, you're 16, throwing out false information. 16% precipitation, 77% humidity, you're 5 16% miles per hour. Precipitation. Is the wind 5 miles per hour everywhere all the time? It's been 5 miles an hour in every county for the last fucking 10 there days. There was like a fuck ton of rain for a long time, but then there was How like... How many times have we done the weather already? Uh, at least two weeks. Maybe three weeks. How many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, yeah, it's 10, so two oh, and a half see, I did two weeks. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay, you go away. Oh, hey, shit. Look, you thought I stole your pen. It was right here the whole time. It has this one, too. A fucking Crown Vic gave Creighton an out-of-body experience. Copenhagen, listen. <laughs> I don't claim to understand the man. I just have him as my co-host. It's just one of those things when you know, you know. You know what I mean? Creighton, you, you don't understand car, what an out-of-body experience is. No, I felt like the car. Oh, it's me being out of my body. I was the car, Charlie. And the car was me. And together, we were one. But two different entities at the same one time. One day... <laughs> one day if we're ever like like if I if I like fuck around and walk and see like a fucking Powerball lottery ticket on the ground and pick it up and it's just like the billion dollar winner yeah. I am getting us a studio it's gonna look awesome and there's gonna be a little spot 15 feet like in front of you and to the right <laughs> up like like 15 feet up 15 feet out and I'm gonna let Copenhagen live with us and he's gonna get his own house next to ours and I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a slingshot and a bucket of fucking metal like marbles. And every time you say some dumb shit, Copenhagen's gonna shoot you with a slingshot <laughs> in the face. <laughs> He's gonna shoot you with these little metal balls in the face. It's gonna be awesome. And that'll be his life's. Sm- I'll pay him. I will Charlie. put Copenhagen on a goddamn motherfucking <laughs> salary, bro. I'll give him eight grand a month <laughs> to shoot you with marbles. Charlie, if I've said what? it once, I've said it a thousand times. I'm the greatest philosopher of our time. 
Creighton is a human crown Victorian. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck Creighton is, dude. Creighton <laughs> is not a fucking person. <laughs> Creighton's like, Creighton's what happens when like a happy puppy gets put in a man body and then just, you let him loose and he works at a food line. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Charlie, if you win the lotto, you have to buy 1,496 Crown Vicks and smash them right in front of him. 1,496 specifically. Why that many? But yes, no, I agree, but why that many? <laughs> Oh, you think I won't buy that many? Why not just around? Why not just even fifteen hundred? That is a very weird number. <laughs> why did you pick that number? You put a comma, so it's not a random number. Yeah, you you like, like thought this out. You like, I have to understand. <laughs> <laughs> so what's weirder, me liking the Crown Vic or him picking out that number specifically? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I think it's not. I think it's not that weird for me because I do weird stuff anyway all the time. If anything, you should be expecting this kind of shit by now. Him picking out that number specifically, Flint's Flint, Flint's on top of things. You know, he's got his head on straight. He had the numbers already fixed tonight when we first come in here. Fourteen hundred ninety-six crown vix. It would cost like thirty-five hundred bucks. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I put one and a comma and just hit my keyboard and deleted some numbers. <laughs> oh, okay then. <laughs> How about this? How, whenever. Whenever I'm able to afford stupid, ridiculous amounts of Crown Vicks, yeah. I'll get a Crown Vic for every follower you have on Twitter and kill and destroy them all in front of you. <laughs> that'll be my, my method. No, nah, that'll be scary. That'll be way too much money one day. <laughs> what? I only have 77 followers. That's right now, though. Yeah. I'm talking about the future, Craig. You're going to... We're talking about you're gonna be big. Like, I'm telling you, you're you're there's something of you're a weirdo. <laughs> People are gonna like you. People are gonna follow you. I don't know. I put. The, oh, I already read that. What'd you say? I, we were talking about me doing my own show, like before this. <laughs> yeah, Cray wants to do another like a podcasty thing. I guess podcast. Or I interview people. Yeah. How long do you think it would be? I don't know. I, I, would it be more of an interview than a podcast? It'd be more of an interview than a podcast. You know, like this. What we do is like. Bullshit, you know what I mean? Yeah, or, like, there's, we're just I want to get to like people's like serious like shit, you know, like yeah. kind of like what we used to do on Learn TV a little bit, but like more evolved than that. Yeah, you know, where you don't have to worry where, about. I don't have question cards. They're like, well, you can have question cards. Are good well, to have. I know. I have question cards. Well, I, I mean, like dumb question ones. cards. You know what I mean? Oh well, yeah. yeah. Like what we read that one time. Yeah, I mean, the best thing about doing it online is that there's no censorship. Yeah, yeah in terms absolutely. of in terms of what you want. To be said. So we can say, fuck, shit, damn, and cream my jeans. Yes. Yes, you can say those things. Yeah. But that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> We're talking about a guy... Like, I'm saying, you don't, you don't have to worry... Balls in his mouth. You don't have to worry about getting into certain topics. If you, you, as the person who's running it, can say whatever you want. You can ask whatever you want. You can push any boundaries you want. You know what I mean? Like, you can... That's the coolest thing about doing this online. Like, whether it's YouTube, Twitch, whatever the fuck. YouTube's pretty great, and like in terms of words, you can say any words you want. You might get demonetized, but you know, as long as you're not copywriting something, wait. As long as you're not <laughs> using copyrighted stuff, yeah. uh, it'll be okay. I'm gonna drop the N word <laughs> my very first. Yeah, episode. just be like N word, N word, just say it eighteen times. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you're so stupid. <laughs> but God uh, forbid you show them titties. <laughs> <laughs> hey Nick, what kind of car does Creighton drive now? I drive a 1999 Chevy Silverado. There you go. It's, That's in, what it's in peak condition. Only got 160,000 miles on it. Peak condition. He's pretty sure he got rear-ended without someone telling him the other day. <laughs> no, but I mean, other than that, like, it runs really good. Like, yeah, it does I mean, run To well. be, like, a 21-year-old 20, vehicle. It might go I mean, it's it. younger than you. It is younger than me. That's How weird is that, bro? Me. Save some pussy for the rest of <laughs> <laughs> a Silverado jeez bro I thought you said jeez <laughs> uh, that made me think that Copenhagen might be mad if I had like no geez, other bro save some pussy for the rest of us <laughs> that was a very that. Matt thing to say right oh shit are we losing how many frames we we're losing? in the orange yeah, now we're in the red why are we dropping frames so much 10,000 frames oh, oh no, I went by not? the gym gym before I came here okay yeah what, did you go inside? Uh, yeah, because I want to see my key work. Because remember, I was talking about how my card got destroyed, and I was like, sure. If it was did going. you take your temperature and everything? 
Yeah. Okay. Did well, you, like, I didn't actually go work do out. I just walked in, in to see if I could go in. I got you. But and they got, could. like, everything laid out for you to do. Like, nobody was there, though. Yeah. But I forgot, like, what the gym smells like. It was, like, going home. You know what I mean? It feels weird when you go yeah. in the first time. I'm, I'm going... If I, to, I might go tomorrow if I wake up at the right time. I think I'm going to go tomorrow. Like, as soon as I wake up. I'm pretty sure Matt was live with you when I was in the chat, but maybe not. Yeah, he was. Yeah, Whenever we did we're Matt's talking about the, We're talking about the conspiracy of not knowing if Matt, or if Copenhagen is something oh, like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I just mean like if it had been like <laughs> earlier, like in me knowing Copenhagen. Perhaps. In, in, in our friendship, in our relationship. I'm pretty convinced that Copenhagen is a guy from North Dakota. <laughs> like he said he was. You or, say that. or at the very least, he's not someone we know you in say real life. That. But I guess, you know, to be proven wrong. You don't, you Panda don't know Party our followed friends. us our after friends. the last podcast. Who did? Panda Party, the first one we rated. Oh, yeah. She followed us, like, a few hours after that. <laughs> That's nice. But, like, for real, though, like, you know how many of our friends have played the long game? Yeah. Now, Beth and Neil play the long game. Quentin would. Quentin would. Quentin is a fucking master <laughs> at the long game. Chris, I could see playing the long McClinton? game. Quentin? What? The Quentin or which Chris? Yes, that one. Okay. Um, I could see, I could see David playing a long game because uh, he's never around. I feel like he would. He'd like, have the best long game to play because he's never around to have to back anything up. And he did work for the government one time. Well, yes, but he was in yes, the that's army. exactly what I am. Just some guy from North Dakota. <laughs> God damn it! I don't know. I trust nobody, but I also trust everybody. That's a terrible thing to do. <laughs> You know what I watched this morning? What? I watched the first episode of season two of Game of Thrones again. Mm -hmm. And my god. I thought you were going to say, uh, fucking, what was it that you watched? Was Blacklist? And you were going to, like, list. No, I've, <clears throat> that's one that, Matt wasn't, Matt has enough following to have someone pose as whoever he desired in the chat. That's, that's true. fair. That's true. That's true. Copenhagen could be one of Matt's followers. Um... <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Uh, a trained assassin to take a, a trained a sleeper agent. Yeah. You are a sleeper agent. <laughs> <laughs> like Matt could just say like his key Matt phrase or whatever, and Sergeant he would be Blue like, Barry's Johnson reporting for duty." <laughs> <laughs> you are a sleeper agent. <laughs> yes, and my top priority: investigating you for corruption. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Dude. What's that from? The rocket jump with Key and Peele, remember? Oh, I remember with, uh, it. the Asian dude? You've never seen it? The Mexican standoff? Oh, yeah, we watched that over at Matt's house that one time. It's amazing. <laughs> it's one of the greatest videos ever. <laughs> Copenhagen is clearly Creighton from the future. After we nuked ourselves into oblivion and in the fallout, Charlie was eaten by mutant cockroaches, and now he's bullshitting watching podcasts while working out how to save the world, or at the very least, his friends. Wow. Nick, I would watch Game of Thrones is overrated, a hard pill to swallow. We're going to just not talk about that one. Oh, he's trying you tonight, Charlie. Shut, shut the fuck up, <laughs> Nick, come on. I wouldn't be eating... I wouldn't be eating, like, mutant cockroaches, okay? Mutant I don't people, know, I maybe. See. Cockroaches can't handle me. <laughs> I'd fuck some big cockroaches up. Did you up. say cocks can't handle you? Is that what you said? Yoda is joining us tonight on Creighton's painting in the background. I was hoping you wouldn't I, say I, I anything. I think that's going to be a pretty permanent uh, change. To I was the... hoping you wouldn't say anything and like people would just notice. <laughs> right? He's staring at me. I don't like it. Look at him. Is he looking at you? He's looking at both of us at the same time. I hate that. <laughs> that's terrifying. I like the idea of like one day us having... Oh, I'm getting a desk built. Oh, you are? Yeah, me and Mike are going to build one. It? It's going to be stupid. So it's basically going to be... like Imagine this desk. Yeah. It, it won't be this one anymore, but imagine this desk. What are you going to do with this one? I don't know. I might use it on the other side of the room. Not a thousand. I might put this desk right there and just have that TV on the, this desk. And just have this whole area be like a big desk area. What are so you like, do you with that table that's on? I don't fucking care. It's not my table. Oh. <laughs> Mike was like, you can use anything in the bottom basement. I was like, let's go. So I just used that because it was a t table I could put the TV on. Okay. But now, the TV will, one, be a little lower, so a little more at our level where we can see it better. I like it being at this level. <laughs> I mean, it's okay, but I mean, it's it's not gonna be like crazy lower. It's literally gonna be like, just a little lower. It's not gonna be anything nuts. Actually, probably actually, be wait, like, no. It'll be higher because this is higher. Never mind. It's gonna stay exactly where it's at. Cause you got that shit underneath it. It's gonna stay exactly where it's at because it has to stay on the thing that rotates. Yeah. Anyway, until you so, get an arm. Nah, I'm probably not even gonna ever do that. No, that's too much work. Yeah. 
it's too much work for something that is like too annoying to fix. Right now it's easy because it rotates and I can just pick it up if I need to move it, you know? Kristen wants to know what's your favorite Pokemon. <sighs> Ooh. Damn. Um, Cox can't handle him, but damn, he can handle Cox. God damn it. <laughs> Why did you? <laughs> Best hand job east of the mighty Mississippi. <laughs> What was your period there? That fucked me up. <laughs> What's my favorite Pokemon? What's your favorite Pokemon? Porygon. Porygon? Yeah. Damn, immediately know it. Well, you Kristen just... asked me the other day. Oh. Uh, but I know... I knew a regular anyone. one and a legendary. Ooh, one of each? Ooh. I like Deoxys. Legendary? Deoxys? Yeah. For me, it's probably... Mine's always fluctuating, but fluctuating, though, either between, like, Deoxys or Mewtwo or Mew. <laughs> yeah, the, the legendary one, I could sit here all day and think of that, because yeah. I love a lot of the... But, like, the normal Pokemon, it's, like, always down to, like, a short list of three or What's four. What's the one that looks like a lion? Isn't he a legendary one, too? Entei? The one that the movie's about, where he talks to Ash and Pikachu? Entei. Entei. I like Entei a lot. Entei's pretty dope. I was going to say, he's probably one of my... If, if I'm picking a... Like, I, I don't have, like, a number definitive one. I have, like, a... Two or three of each. For me, with, with the legendaries, it's Entei is definitely up there. Articuno is definitely up there. <clears throat> Jirachi is definitely up there. Ooh. Lugia. Lugia's pretty up there as well. You spit those, Charlie. That's not a Pokemon. What? Get it together. That's a Lugia. Not Lugia. Get it together. Uh, in terms of reg regular Pokemon... I don't know. You're ready. I was not ready for this question. You're a regular Pokemon. I, I don't have this like I don't have this prepared. Do you like my little Pokemon picture with the little gentleman Pokemon? Yeah. Isn't you should show that in the chat. <laughs> nah, it's like there and I'm like right here. Um It's it's I'd say fuck. You'd say fuck. While you're thinking about this, think of like what your favorite cookie is too. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I've, I've been thinking about that this whole time. Because, like, you you hopped down my throat about, like, me asking, like, the cookie thing. But then the Pokemon thing is like, oh, no, we can't have a discussion about Pokemon. It's a much different, it's a different conversation, Graydon. Is it? Yes. Wow. Pokemon aren't That's real. crazy. Cookies are real. That's what I'm saying. Cookies, cookies are real. It's, it's a dumb, the, real thing. Who can't, gives a fuck if I like cookies? <laughs> cookies have the edge. Uh, I like the creepy one pretending to be a Pikachu. I can't remember this name. Oh, uh, fuck. Mimikyu. What? Chris Mimikyu? Mim oh, that's Mimikyu. <laughs> also, the crocodile with sunglasses is dope. Oh, Totodile? That's probably Totodile. Totodile. <laughs> like, totally. I hate you. <laughs> All of In the a much. while, crocodile. Dude, there's just so many awesome ones. Like what? I like Mr. Mime, too. For me, like... Immediately, the ones I think of right away, I really like Gengar. I really like Gardevoir. I really like Charizard. I really like Snorlax, Arcanine, <sighs> Lapras. Leslie? <laughs> oh, God. Bayleaf. I like Bailey too. She's pretty cool. Hold on. Oh, Hitmon, Hitmon Lee. Like Hitmon Lee and Hitmon like Shane are both dope. There's that a was new my one favorite one for a while. Being Charlie's FBI agent is kind of boring, to be honest. Dude, I'm sorry. Listen, sometimes someone asks you a thing about Pokemon, you gotta talk about it. Have you seen Detective Pikachu? Not yet. Quentin has told me it is it's fucking amazing. amazing. You should watch it. It's really good, Charlie. I hate you for not watching it. I'm sorry. I hate you so much. Were you open? Yes. Not you, you fucking I'm bitch. I'm open to anything, Charlie. Anal, whatever. Whatever you want to do, Charlie. Let me Creighton, do it to you. shut... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I thought you were to say, shut your whore mouth. You shut your whore mouth. Domination? Alright, that's the way you want to play it, Charlie, but I'm dominating. Are you gonna... Oh my god, I hate Nick everything. Nick said it is really good. <laughs> Chris said, I really was not disappointed with the technology. I really was not Fuck, can I not fucking read, I guess? 
<laughs> you okay, great? No. This is what happens when we start late. Even what? though we said we were going to start early. We did start early. No, we didn't start early. We started at the time we usually start, which is around 11.30. I can't believe we don't have one tomorrow. Right? Hate. Doesn't this week feel like it went by fast? I mean, in some ways. In some ways, it felt longer. Like, for the podcast, it feels like the podcast went by fast this week. If that makes sense. I can't do it, Kristen. I can't pick one indefinitely. <laughs> You can't do it. You say hit Monley. You take that bullet. No, I don't like bite him. Bite that Monley. bullet, Charlie. I don't like him. Monley. Bite that bullet. No, Let's fuck you. you. You bite the bullet. Or ditto. No. Oh, I don't not like him. I just don't like him. <laughs> I don't like him. Like, like, there's some Pokemon that are fucking badass. Like, Gengar's a fucking awesome Pokemon. Gengar's one of those ones that probably should have been a legendary Pokemon. Gengar's stupid awesome. Gengar's awesome. Arcanine's awesome. Charizard. Charizard. Lapras. Snorlax. Snorlax is so awesome. Like, I, uh, Onyx. Onyx is cool, but I don't Onyx know. is a rock dragon. And he's a rock snake. He can't yeah. fly. He can't breathe fire. He can do. He can do something. Charlie, just pick Psyduck for no reason. No. Yeah, he should. Golduck's pretty dope. What about uh? Eevee. I love Eevee. <laughs> She's just like. Eevee's <laughs> got so many. Eevee should have been legendary. Like, with all the evolution she has. You gotta come up with new ones every fucking 20 minutes. Hey, I asked about cards, too, though. Wait. Oh, yeah. Do you have, do cards? You have cards? I used to. I don't think you I have them anymore. anymore. If I do, they're hidden. Oh, I have no clue where. <laughs> Eevee is my favorite. Eevee's you pretty You know that's not how Eevee, Charlie's dog, is spelled? Yeah, she's spelled E-V-I-E. Yeah, I didn't know that. And I made a post about it, and your brother corrected me immediately. He was. He was. He definitely gets pissed when shit like that's like wrong. <laughs> He's like, hey, hey, f- fix it. <laughs> like, but you can't like, end an Instagram thing. post without deleting the whole post. Yeah. So I was like, I just like put in the comments an asterisk and then the way it was supposed Asterix. to be. Asterisk. Yeah. Dude, Doug Trio for sure. Oh. Doug Trio is pretty cool. You seen the pictures? The, Have you seen the, the pictures of Doug Trio under the dirt? Yes. This They're Doug amazing. Do 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 do. No. No, Doug Trio. No, no, Dodo. Dodo? Dodo? How do you no, say it's, it? It's like Dodo. I've only seen Dodo. Dodo? Dodo, maybe? Dodo Trio. I like Dodo Trio. Is Dodo Trio the... That's the one that looks like an ostrich with two heads. That's do- That's Dodo. Yeah, and then Dodo Trio is It's the one with like, three heads. Yeah. Trace. Trace heads. I don't know, dude. I'm pretty sure you're saying that the wrong way for Spanish. Trace heads. They say everything all weird in Spanish. You're like, you know, the the he will be all the way over here, and then the objective will be all the way over there. Like, you know, sometimes it's reverse. You know, I whole, don't know. Don't you say you know? Because <laughs> I don't. The whole setup's weird. I speak. I speak. I speak in a little bit of Spanglish. <laughs> and French. Hello, have you seen Alonin? <sighs> What's Alonin? Is that the one with hair? Alone and Doug Trio. What the fuck? That's the one with hair. Yes, I love that one. Ah! <laughs> Look. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh. My. God. <laughs> you gotta show that in the chat. That's... <laughs> Dude, it's a bunch of Johnny Bravos. What? Oh. Hold on. These are amazing. Look, guys. Look at this. First of all, th- this is fucking majestic. And then this, the Johnny Bravos. Oh my god, is that a bunch of Donald Trumps? <laughs> I have to be careful what I show because I know that a lot of the Doug Trio art is like pornographic. Oh, yeah. Why? Huh? Why is this? They look like little dicks. Little brown dicks. Yep. Where is. There's a hilarious one of him, like, of it Ooh. under the ground. There's a scary one of it under the ground where it's, like, the fingers of, like, a giant. Oh, please. Do you know what I'm yeah, about? I do. Hold on. Doug Trio. Underground. Let's see. Is that what it looks like underground? No, I don't think that there is a, like, known one. What the? What? Fuck! <laughs> Who's that? It's horrifying, is it's what like, it is. It's the bottom of that other picture, right? May, probably. It's, no, it's a different... So, yes, but it's like an animated ver- Like a drawn animated version. The other one's like 3D rendered. 
Dude, I hate these. These are horrifying. <laughs> look at, dude, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> that is so that's, the, that's just the top of that. I know, but it's like, oh my god. Bane. Bane. Oh, dude, what? That's, it's a pathetic diggle. Dude, that's terrifying. This one's, this is the best one. <laughs> these are, oh. What? Oh my god. That's the one I saw. That, I'm not okay with that. <laughs> oh, and there's the dick. See? Look, it's a little dick. <laughs> it's a dick big tree. I hate this. What? No. Where, where'd it go? Fuck. <laughs> what is it? This. This little thing. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's just looking at Doug Trio or and Doug Diglets. Diglets. He's looking at fan art for it's them. It's a cake. Please look up Alona Vulpix if you don't oh know. God. I absolutely love it in Alona Nine Tails. Yeah. Is it just that cool. hair on a bunch of. Wait, what is Alona? What does that mean? It's like an island or whatever in Pokemon or something like that. It's See, a I'm, region. I stopped like paying attention to Pokemon after like Emerald. Sapphire, Ruby, and Emerald. Well, it's just a bunch of G ones, or not G ones, but you know. Other oh, like uh, yeah. Pokemon from the generation. From generation ones with like alterations, really. Or ulterior motives. What? Alter? What do you mean ulterior motives? Ulterior motives. You don't know what that means. I do. What does it mean? It means like they want to hurt us. What? Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Creighton. Their motives are It's not important to me see. that you understand what ulterior motives mean. It, like, do you really want to know, like, what I think it means? Yeah. Oh, okay. I gotta know if you understand like, you know, this word or not. Yeah, so, like, it's basically, like, somebody's telling you their motives are one thing, and, like, you know, they have alternative motives. Like, they have another motive beneath that that they're not telling you. What they could tell you? I don't know. They have more than one motive, basically. What I just learned Ulterior is that you know you're talking shit all the time, <laughs> and you just go through with it. Ulterior Motives was a great Pokemon generation. Yes, yes it was. They're Ice type. <laughs> I understand. I've seen I've seen that. I, I remember like whenever the the one that came out with that. They're on the game. Out. I know. That's what yeah, I'm talking about. I have a bunch of them. You oh, you mean to? Pokemon Go? They're on Pokemon yeah. Go. You want some? No. Why not? Why don't you want my Pokemon, Charlie? Because I don't like that game. What? I don't like... I, I was so ready for it to be one thing, and it wasn't, and it made me mad. It is, though, no? I'd say... <laughs> Charlie, damn it. You made me yawn. <sighs> <sighs> I'm sorry. Yawning has become regular for me. I'm, I'm, I'm very, like... I'm definitely on the precipice of I need to start getting back in the gym so I'm less tired all the time. I get tired so easy. I've only been up well, for like I'm going fucking to six the gym tomorrow. I might go tomorrow. I don't know. It depends on. It depends a lot on how how tonight goes. Wait, what team are y'all on with Pokemon Go? But Pokemon Go has evolved severely. Why am I fat? I changed <laughs> teams to Yellow Team. That's what you want. I was. I was Red Team originally. I think I was red team when I started. I don't know. You still are, probably. Probably, you... yeah. I don't know. I haven't played in a long time. I don't want to play it. I don't like it. Like, I just didn't... One, it burns up your phone real bad. And two, like, phone games in general are just not amazing. Like, mobile. Like, like those games where you have to be places. Like, I'm a homebody. I'm not going to have fun playing that game. If they had a version where, like... I had, like, let's say I have a Switch and I have Pokemon, and you could just play out in the world, too, and get certain things. Like Oh, um, like, you could somehow take a Switch with you, and, like, it was enter. It was, like, the Pokemon game, but also Pokemon Go mixed together. Kind of. Sounds like you need a new phone, Charlie. Shh, what? Shh, Why? Shh, My phone can run it. It's not about running. It's not about running the game. It's about, like, I it's don't about do anything. It's about enjoyment of the game. Exactly. I'm not going to have any fun <laughs> playing it. I if this is an email, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say that's an email of this fucking podcast, <laughs> like the stream labs. For was it, it not? It's not. Oh. It shouldn't be. <laughs> we haven't finished the stream yet. You're supposed to get email for that when it's over, but we never do, and I'm always confused by it. We get one normally, like right when we start. You remember that? Not normally. It's like two or three or like times. The, yeah, norm. That's the new normal, right? No, it happened 
Once. And recently. It's happened twice in the past, and it happened once, like, yesterday or the day before. It's not normal. That's a thing that happened. That's normal what? now, Charlie. 9-11 wasn't normal. It happened once. <laughs> like, Technically what do you twice. No. no 9-11 happened once. The day 9-11 happened one time. 9-11 isn't... What? <laughs> no, I just mean, like, you know, there was two planes. There was the one in the field, and there was the one that hit the Pentagon. So really four planes. You guys should do playthroughs. Ooh, we should. We should. Playthrough of what? We could do Uncharted. Right now? No. Oh. I mean, <laughs> not literally right now. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I've thought about doing playthroughs. It would be very fun to we do playthroughs. Have fun, yeah. Like, if we have, like if we did it, one, it would probably need to be PC games, because PC games are much easier to capture on PC than using a uh, capture card. Capture card. Because I have also, a capture card built into this PC, card. but I don't know how to use it. Yeah. And I'm really lazy. So, like, I don't know if I want to... Wait, Bush did 9-11 four times? Oh, my God, Nick. Shut. He's right, though. Undertale? <sighs> Listen. You don't want to play Undertale? It's not that I don't want to play Undertale. It's, it's that I don't want to do a playthrough of Undertale. Why not? <laughs> when I play Undertale, it's gonna. I'm going to play, like, a completionist version of Undertale. And I don't want to record that much time. I don't want to be talking for that much of under. If I if I did a walkthrough of a game, I'd want it to be like a podcast in terms of where we don't just sit there silently, like unless there's like a cutscene happening. Mm-hmm. And even during cutscenes, we would talk. You know what I mean? Like I, I would want well, it to be very I mean, much. I was talking. Imagine about the game. it would be like how we played the other day, like playing uh, The Last of Us. Or we're just talking shit while we play. Yeah, it would be that. Then Delta Room. I don't know. I don't know. Or I want to play. Uh, what's it called? Detroit. Become human or something? I don't know. It's, it looks good. It is good for a while, but it gets weird. And, like, not good. Don't, here. don't, don't deter me, Charlie. I mean, you, you'll probably like it. I just don't, don't I don't want to do it. Don't deter me. Don't, Charlie, Charlie, look at me. No, Charlie. I'm not going to look at you. Charlie, look at me. No. Charlie. No. Look at me. No, I'm not looking at you. Charlie, don't ruin Detroit Become Human for me. I'm not ruining it for you. Don't you ruin it. I'm not. I didn't it. like it. That doesn't mean you won't like it. Yeah, get We don't like, we both... Like, like things the other doesn't like a lot. And lots of different One things. One of us is, like, you know, fucking awesome and likes a bunch of nice, cool stuff, and the other is really picky. Right. I was talking about you with that last one, Charlie. Uh-huh. Right. Although sometimes it's me, too, so. Right. It alternates. It just depends on the subject matter. Right. You know? Like, what, how do you feel about David Hasselhoff? I think he's awesome. Yeah. I think he should be in every household. <laughs> Like his name, or just like no, him? David Hasselhoff should be everywhere all the time. We should all hang out with David Hasselhoff every waking moment. You know, what I miss, um, I miss Patrick Swayze. I don't know. I mean, he was awesome, but it's not like he. The man could wear a mullet. The man could wear a mullet. Mike, Patrick, he's definitely one of those actors that I feel like would have had like a resurgence. Yeah. Like a crazy ass amazing role nowadays, you know? I could so see him like being in the MCU or something like huge. How old would he have been? How old was so, he So, he, he died like what, in a car wreck or something? No, he, he, he was, uh, I think it was cancer. So he died, he was 57 when he died in 2009, so he'd be... 68. Uh, he died of pancreatic cancer. Dang, that sucks. His body was cremated and his ashes were scattered over his New Mexico ranch. Patrick Swayze was an American actor, dancer, singer, and songwriter. Gaining fame with appearances in films during the 1980s, he became popular for playing through a romantic man... Blah, 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 playing tough and romantic male leads giving him a wide fan base. He was named by People Magazine as Sexiest Man Alive in 1991. He was born August 18th, 1952 in Houston, Texas. He's in Donnie Darko. He is? Yeah. Damn. He's the... He was so small by the end of his life, like, because of the cancer. Like, there's, like, pictures of him, like, in his car, and he's, like, all frail and broken looking when he was only, like, you know, his late, his, like, mid to late 50s. Yeah. He, uh, so, he was the child molester in Donnie Darko. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn. He, well, I think he was trying to branch out into, like, all the other roles and stuff. So, like, he was, like, 
the bad guy for that movie, you know? You guys should play old school Crash Bandicoot and make us all feel happy. That would be fun, actually. Ooh. Uh, or, so here's the part of the podcast or where Sly I say, Cooper. get in the Discord and talk to Craig because I gotta take a shit. <laughs> or Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Oh, yeah. I never finished that, by the way. There's a, that's a trilogy of games that I played I really the enjoyed. second one and loved it. I don't know if I played the first one. No, I played the first one. I played the second one and then started the third one, but never, like, super duper uh, I got into, into them because I was, like, confused by the subject matter. Because they were a little uh, risque for children. They had, like, mixed elements, yeah. which was really awesome, I thought. Because I love Sly Cooper 2, Among Thieves, I think. No, that's not what it's called. What's it called? Something Thieves. I can no longer wait for you guys to get... Did anybody get in? Not yet. No one is in the thing yet, so... We shall see. Just get Nick in there. Nick, you're, are you in the Discord? I do not think he is in the Discord. Or Kristen. Kristen has a Discord. I shall return. Guys, talk to, talk to, talk to Kate and Creighton through chat. I shall return. Okay. I'll be here. Whoa. Talking to chat. So, Thievius Raccoonus. Nick, did you play it? Nick said no. Yeah, I should play old school Crash Bandicoot. Makes us all feel happy. Uh, let's see here. Uh, get in the chair. I am in the chair. Kristen, I have a plan. Did he take the mouse? Oh, he took the mouse. He thought of everything. Damn it. Well, my plan has failed. Let's see here. Yes, good, good. Um, so anyways, wow, this is really comfortable. What else is in here? It's time for another round of what's in Charlie's drawer. A Caesar for Warts card. Let's see. What is this? Caesar Rewards. Code. I don't know what Caesar Rewards is, but anyways tries to get out of my chair, you bitch. Let's see what we can talk, damn it, there's not a mouse. Hey, Charlie, did you take the mouse with you? I was gonna, like, try to call Nick on Discord real quick or something. Or Kristen, whoever. Damn it, I knew it. He thought of everything. So anyways, let's see, what can I tell? What kind of story? I don't trust you. You don't trust me? I was just gonna call Nick. Sabotage by the Beastie Boys starts playing in the background when his ass hits Charlie's seat. <laughs> Not with Clarence. Oh man. How about I tell you guys about the shirt that I'm wearing? So, like, this is a Star Wars shirt. Hold on. And it's the rebel symbol with um, different rebel ships. So, you got your X, let's see, let's see X wings right here. Your uh, nine wings? I can't remember the name of it. But you got X wings over here. Really, it's all X wings now that I look at it. And the uh, V wings. So you got your X wings and your V wings. <sighs> On the first day with Yoda, no less. I know, right? That was like crazy timing. Charlie, can you control the computer with the mouse from where you are? I don't know. Charlie, try to move the mouse around. Yeah, I think he's out of range, because it's not moving at all. That would have been interesting, though. Like, you know, he starts clicking shit over there. I could try to coordinate and, like, see, like, if we could get it, like, the ball rolling. But anyways, we're five views away, by the way, from being 3,900 views in total on our podcast. And, let's see, we got 391 followers, 32 sub points, and 32 subscribers. Which is pretty, pretty, pretty good, if I do say so myself. Pretty good. Um, you know, I'm not going to take credit here, but, you know, it's all thanks to me. You know, Charlie has nothing to do with it at all. And, uh, what can I say? All in a day's work, you know. I'm not going to, I'm not here to pat myself on the back, but I will pat myself on the back, if that's what it takes to get the job done. Good job, Craig. Good job. <clears throat> Anyways, let's see. Damn it, I keep wanting to grab the mouse. Talk about Food Lion? Let's see, Food Lion. 
I was off today, so there's not much to talk about food line, except for it being the Memorial Day weekend this weekend, which it's probably going to be busy, but I don't know for sure. Tell a story, you dope. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of, like, a good story. Oh, so, there was this one time, there I was, in Food Lion, and I was, get, I was like, you know, just going about my business, you know, I was in charge of the front end, and I think my main manager was gone to lunch, and, uh, so, for those of you who don't know, Pizza Hut is, like, right next to our Food Lion, like, the, there's a, we have, like, the big Pizza Hut in town, and then we have, like, this Pizza Hut that's more like a Domino's, like a small, and just does takeout orders. And, um, this girl comes in from Pizza Hut that I know this pretty well, you know, she comes in and out all the time buying shit that they eat over there, you know, your mozzarella cheese, your cheese, like, you know, your cheeses, your lettuces, your tomatoes, your spaghetti sauces, all that kind of stuff. Um, and she, like, is like, hey, here's a free pizza for, like, you know, you guys. And I was like, oh, shit, for real? And she was like, yeah, you know, like, here you go. And I was like, fuck, that's awesome. So, I take it to the back. And, like, you know, I automatically eat, like, four slices of it. Because, like, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I eat a lot. <clears throat> I love, Creighton, I love you, sign my boobs. <laughs> Thank you, Nate. Thank you. Anyways, so I eat the pizza. And, like, a day later, uh, my manager that had been off that day, my even manager, comes up to me. And is like, hey, how's it going? How was yesterday? And all that jazz. And I say to him, I was like, oh, it's pretty good, I got a free pizza. And he said, what? And he, he was, I was like, yeah, I got, like, you know, free pizza from, like, the girl next door. And he was like, oh, my God, like, that was my free pizza, because, like, they owed me for something that he had done. I don't remember what it was. Oh, Charlie's back. If you're going to sit over here, don't wear my fucking headphones. I didn't adjust them. I was Get them out of my chair. <laughs> okay. I hope you washed that mouse. I didn't. I actually dipped it in the toilet. Oh my god. <clears throat> After I shit. So yeah, he got really fucking pissed at me because I, I basically stole his. Because I basically stole his. Uh, <laughs> who got? Wait. So who was mad? I only caught the first and end of the, the first part and the end of the story. <laughs> so I got a free pizza. And it yes. turned out it was my manager's free pizza the whole time. But the girl didn't tell me. She's like, "Oh yeah, it's a free pizza. You know, have a nice day or whatever." And I didn't. That's know. her being dumb, though. I and feel I, like. I ate all of it, Charlie. You ate the whole pizza? I ate a lot of it. Crazy. Apparently, she was paying back because, like, he gave her some free groceries or something. I don't know. Damn. Yeah, but oh, he's he gotten was. more Which, free. Who pizza. was it? Uh, who was who? The guy that who was it? The boss? Which the bald one? guy, the one that you think's really funny. James. I think one's really. Fun. I don't know any of them. I don't know any of them. It wasn't Josh. Okay, was he's the only one I know. Yeah. You would like James, too. James is fucking hilarious. I wonder who thinks he's funny if it's not me. Obviously, someone knows about him, and someone else thinks he's funny. What? If you thought that I thought he was funny, and I don't know him, it means that someone else has filled that time of hanging out with you and seeing this person at the same time, also thinking that he is funny. Probably Savannah. Probably Savannah. Yeah. She does work there. Yeah. Or Bailey. Or Bailey. Or Michael. Or Michael. Dude, so many of our friends work there now. Yeah. It's crazy. Horrifying. That's why I was trying to leave. What do you mean leave? <laughs> oh, like leave, like not work there, leave? Like go to the other one? Yeah. Or are you on that? That's too crowded. No, I'm not doing it. Like you know you're not doing it? Yeah, it, they wouldn't pay me enough. Wow. They haven't come back at you yet? No, me? like they they come back and they had the same oh. thing that they offered me before. And I was like, no, that's too low. I'm like yeah. what? I said no to this before. Why do you think my mind would have changed? People are dumb. Yeah. Like they were like... We'll give you a dollar more to go and travel 30 minutes more, or an hour, really, round trip more, every day. And I was like, yeah, no, that's... That's 10 more yeah. dollars a day. <laughs> yeah. Basically, that's not worth... And that doesn't pay for wear and tear, and that doesn't pay for, like... Gas. Gas. And then they were like, oh, yeah, you know, it'll be all right, because, like, you know, you get benefits. And I was like, cool, Are the, is the benefits going to buy me new tires? Like, don't you get benefits anyway, like, to some degree? I mean, would it be get, different benefits? Not really. I mean, like, the only real, like, benefit would be, like, I would get more vacation hours, and I would be eligible for their insurance that they have. But all that stuff gets deducted from your paycheck anyway. Yeah. That's 
That's stupid. Yeah, so... It just wasn't a good time. Yeah, or a good I, feel like, I feel like it's, uh, you're better off right now doing what you're doing. Well, I mean, like, this isn't the first time they've offered me a job, so I think if it's meant to be, it'll come around, you know, when it, when it, when it's time for it to. Just like the Crown Vic, you know what I mean? It'll come around when the time's right. I say this because I care. I hope that by the time you can afford a Crown Vic, there are no Crown Vics left. What? <laughs> you don't need a Crown Vic, Creighton. Why not? Because... You what? don't need one. Yes, I do. No, you don't. You I want do. one. There's a difference between need and want. No, I need it. Just like any El Camino. What? what? <laughs> Why? My dream cars, like, this is my dream garage, right? An El Camino, my truck, fully restored, and a Crown Vic. That's it. That's all I need. It's a short, simple list, turn. You know the guy on Breaking Bad who played, uh... What was the name? The, not Badger, but the other one, the like skinny guy. Something skinny Pete. Pete. Skinny Pete. Yeah. Remember him? Uh, he's in the blacklist. Is he? Yeah, and he is like, he does not look like that. What? He looks very like, hold on. Let me show you a picture of him. By like the way, have you seen after. Taylor Lautner lately? Hold on, let me find a picture of it. Okay, so. Where is the picture of this guy? So. What's, wait, you know what? Hold on. Actor. Not that. I need this. What's his name? Okay, Charles Baker, IMGB. So, this is him. Whoa. He was in Blacklist. That was like 2013-ish. He's been in a lot of shit. Damn. Where? Okay, so Breaking Bad was here. But where is Blacklist? Because he's in Blacklist as well. Hmm. Must have been 2014. Am I wrong? Is he not the black list? You're wrong. Oh, let me pull it over here this side. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, let me see this. One day Creighton will rule us all. Thank you. I mean, I don't know about that. Oh, my God. What? Have you seen Taylor Lautner lately? No. What's he look like? Just tell me. Why is quarantine? No, he's not doing much. No, I mean... He's probably got um, enough money to never have to do anything again. That's true. Apparently he got blacklisted in Hollywood. <clears throat> oh, there it is. The blacklist. 2013, 2017. He played Grey. Oh, shit. What? Nothing. I got something spoiled for me. <laughs> That's all. You spoiled yourself, Charlie. Wait, they're making a Perry Mason show? What? They're making a new Perry Mason. Who's Perry Mason? Perry Mason was like... It was like this old detective show. Hold on. No. Perry Mason. Defense attorney Perry Mason defends dozens of falsely accused people over the course of his long-running courtroom drama. and Of this long... He manages to clear each and every one of them, usually by drawing out the real criminal on the witness stand. He is capably assisted by investigator Paul Drake and secretary Della Street and is a continual thorn in the side of District, Attorm District Attorney Hamilton Berger. Now, he's re now is he related to Nathan Drake? <laughs> the real question is, who plays who? Matthew Reese is playing. Perry. Ooh. I so love this is guy. it gonna be? Um, He's playing Perry Mason. So is it gonna be like what time frame is it gonna take place in? Because the old one came out in the fifties, right? Yes. I. I mm, it looks like. In booming 1932 Los Angeles, a down and out defense attorney takes on the case of a lifetime. TV series. 
Nice. I'm excited. I love the old. I love the old Perry Mason. Perry Mason. What do you call an alligator wearing a vest? Great guess, but unfortunately, no. is it the antagonist of Donkey Kong Country? What, Chris? And what is it? Just ruin my night real fast. I'm already devastated. What are you doing this weekend? What are you doing this weekend? I'm going. I'm working all weekend. All weekend. Yeah. See, I called it. I said an investigator. And I didn't even hear that one beforehand. <laughs> Look, he's getting up and walking away. You know who hasn't been here in a while? Charlie. Tristan. He's probably on a vampiro retreat. Charlie's laying in his bed now. He's sulking himself. Uh, he's also taking his pants off, it looks like, and uh, jerking himself off right here. Well, okay, yep. He's going to do it to completion, and I'm just going to ignore it. So he's trying to get me to come over there. Literally. He was exposed to the sun. <laughs> he, probably, he probably ran over a thing of garlic and a guy on his door, he doesn't want to open it. He's really stuck in his car. <laughs> he probably saw the sun. That's fucking hilarious. Jesus, we're all, we all we all give him such a hard time for being a vampire. He is though. <laughs> Fuck, I should have phoned a friend. God damn it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, that's hilarious. Uh. <laughs> God damn it. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> I just see him in his car, like, panicked. Like, in my head, like, I'm trying to I'm trying to move on to another thing, but I keep missing. I imagine, like, that big chunky thing of garlic I have, you know, like, the case, and him, like, running it over, and it's just, like, drenched on his doors, and he's like, I'm fucking trapped. <laughs> like, if he opens the door, he'll, like, see if there's... He'll melt. He'll, like, What's that movie, um, where, is it The Lost Boys, where, like, oh. a bunch of teenagers kill these vampires, and one of them, like, falls into, like, uh, it's very fucking graphic, it's like an 80s vampire movie, and, like... Some vampires fall into like a tub filled with like garlic and they just fucking melt. Have you ever seen that? I have not. Home. Hello, Dilton. I definitely didn't put him in a garlic circle. Or. Dude, we should, uh, as a prank one day, we should like just get garlic and start taking it to Tristan's you, house and put it in the mailbox. <laughs> did you ever Like see a this? clove of garlic. <laughs> like, well, the, the garlic is so cheap. You can buy like fucking, like a bushel of garlic for like 20 bucks just every day. A little clove of garlic. Like the little round, you know, just. Set it on his mailbox. <laughs> Not in, on top of his mailbox. <laughs> or, have you seen, uh, Charlie, the Disney Channel original movie, My Mom's Boyfriend is a Vampire? My oh, Mom's Boyfriend is a Vampire? Yeah. No. I saw my mom, my mom's dating Santa Claus. No, I saw Mama kissing Santa Claus. The Little Vampire? Great movie. Oh, The Little Vampire. Pa- so place good. it gently on his car. Yes. Is it called the Lost Boys? Or? We put a clove of garlic on the door handle of his car every day. That's genius. We should do that. Do you know what his car looks like, Craven? You work Ooh. with him. Tristan's. Uh, I don't think he drives. No, but I saw Fred, too. I hate you. Mm-hmm. I absolutely hate you, Nick. Yep, that's what it's called. It's Damn. called the Lost Boys. It's a... Oh, it's got the kid from uh, The Goonies in it. Like, Which the one? Older, the older brother. The older brother's kind of a dick. Uh, shit. Lego, we can take turns. I'll get info from Taylor. <laughs> there you go. It's, we just we just get Taylor to put g- garlic everywhere. It came out in 87, and it's a horror slash comedy. Dilton. Dilton's here? Uh-huh. What? Great to it. Dilton. <laughs> Dilton. 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 Oh, okay. Dilton. Um, how have you have you worked out during quarantine, like at home, or did you like just waste away like the rest of us? You never update pictures on your Twitter. The man's posted one picture of himself on Twitter ever, and when he did, I was like, wait, Dilton's ripped. Like, not ripped, like, like stupid ripped. Like, ripped like Flynn Rider ripped. Like, ripped and also, like, gorgeous looking. And it pissed me off. I was yeah. like, fuck you, That's Dilton. That's when you had your crush on Dilton. Yes, I'm in love with Dilton. 
She would leave me for wait. Dilton. She would? Yeah, she would. What'd you say? I said you're leaving me for Dilton. I would leave you for a, a fucking broken mailbox <laughs> with mayonnaise on it. <laughs> I hate mail- you mayonnaise. Like your, you like your mailboxes wet with mayonnaise. I can put mayonnaise on me, Charlie. Jeez. Yeah, off and on. I told Fult I wanted to wait until the gym opened to post Twitter pics. I don't know. Ah, I understand. Uh-huh. Ours just opened up. I'm probably going to go tomorrow if I wake up in time. My problem is that my fucking sleep is whack as it's fuck. It's all over the place. Like, it's open right now. You should go. No, I'm, Let's yeah. just end the podcast and go. <laughs> look at you. You look so happy. Do you have that same look on your face as Evie does when you're like, Evie, you want to go outside? <laughs> she just looks up. Don't say that. Though. She's going to go outside. Kayla hates me. Kayla hates I just hate it until I got pregnant. That's why I hear a lot of people, a lot of women when they get pregnant will eat just crazy shit. Yeah. I had a friend who ate, she had graham crackers with, uh, what's it called? The, uh, st- uh, like spray cheese, like cheese in the can, like that. She got graham crackers, put the cheese on it, got a marshmallow on that, and then a pickle, and then the graham cracker, and ate, uh, ate it like it was a s'more. I want to try that. <laughs> Of course you want to try Let's that. try it. I'll put mayonnaise on you, Creighton. Don't worry. Oh, there you go. Thank Nick's you, got you. Uh, I think I'm going to wait longer to go back to mine, to be honest. I've been getting used to home workouts. Creighton can be the best man and Chris and, at Chris and I's wedding. First of all, so call me Chris. I'm Charlie, you're Dilton. You can only <laughs> say Chris so many times until I'm like, wait a second, you're Dilton. You're not someone else I know. <laughs> you stop with this madness. <laughs> call me Charlie. God damn it. <laughs> Second of all. Where are we getting married? <laughs> Texas. Texas? Yeah. Why are we getting married in Texas? I don't know. It could be like a... You're Christian. Right, I've gotten used to it. Okay, damn. Relax. Jeez. <laughs> don't all caps me. Wow. Look, you're getting bossed around by your husband already. The old ball and chain, huh? Yeah, the old ball and chain. It's crazy. Evie's going to town on that carpet. <laughs> Just chewing her ass all up. Yeah, she is. That's my girl. <laughs> Oh, what were we talking about in the topics earlier? There was something I wanted to talk about. Your interview with Evan Austin? No. Well, we kind of already talked about that. Like, doing an interview thing. That's the only thing you've typed since... No, there's another thing. 12 days ago. What did I type in there? What it feels like when tills come up wrong? Yes. Okay, so... That should have been the food line story I did tell. Like, while you are going to the bathroom. But, like, so... My job at food line, at the end of the night, is to, like, you know... Pull all the tills all registers, count them, make sure they're right, and then reset them for the next day. It's like a till base of $200. The problem is, like, whenever they come up weird, like, weird numbers, like, they're off, like, by, like, $5 or $9.39, I'm like, okay, is that me or did somebody steal? You know what I mean? And, like, it always gives me a little bit of anxiety because I won't know until I declare the safe. Because once I declare the safe, like, I'll know if it's, like, if the safe's short or over. Like, I'll know that money was supposed to be a be loaned to that till, but just didn't get there for some yeah. reason. Or vice versa, you know. And, Charlie, like, the anxiety I have felt. Because, <laughs> the, the, like, there was, like, a week or so ago when all of our managers went on vacation. And, like, we all, ro- like, all the office, like, managers royally fucked up, like, their job. <laughs> and. That's not good. Yeah, and, like, they come back, and they, like, my main manager had to, like, find, like, all the money that we had lost and all that stuff in the paperwork. And so, like, since then, I've been trying to come out even every fucking night, and I have knocked it out of the park every fucking time, Charlie. That's good. Yeah. So, anyways, that's (laughs) why, like, God, you don't even know, like, I don't want to get into, like, specific details, because I don't know if I'm supposed to be talking about, like, like that kind of stuff. Yeah, behind the scenes. But, like... There was one till that came up so strangely. I was like, okay, that's got to be like a loan that didn't go out, right? Yeah, but no, the safe came out even. So like, somebody's pocket and something, Charlie. Or they just gave out the wrong amount of change. Probably what it was. Yeah. But, but like, there's this not. weird feeling like whenever it comes out, I'm like, man, did I accidentally shove like $500 in my pocket and I didn't realize it? Oh, uh, that's, that's you know a feeling that's always horrifying. I've yeah. done that before. I've always like I, like I've I've gone places and been like okay I've got thirty but oh shit that's not thirty dollars <laughs> that's more than thirty dollars <laughs> like and, and you're like you, you feel very is it like I I like I like cash I don't like yeah. cards 
I like to have cash on me. I don't like to have fucking eight hundred dollars on me. You know what yeah. I mean? It's one thing to have like one hundred and forty bucks. Yeah. What? Well, yeah. I, I mean, I just mean like it's one of those things like whenever you well, see you, you feel vulnerable is what I mean. Like when you have a that much bit, more on yeah. you. Well, uh, well, I meant like in the opposite way, where like you know, whenever like you get pulled over by a police officer and you're like, "Man, did I accidentally like put a loaded gun like right here next to my hand?" <laughs> right, like you yeah. just assume you're guilty, but yeah. you're not. Yeah, that's the dude. I felt like that every time I go to an airport. I feel like that. It's like that feeling when I'm passing through security. I'm like, I bet I have a bomb. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> do I have a bomb? Do I have a bomb? <laughs> like, 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 you're not thinking like, like, like did I leave the stove on? You're like, oh my god, like did I leave my C4 at home or did I pack it in my bag? <laughs> I think I could have sworn to that. Like, I've never even seen C4 in real life, but I, I think I have some. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm always worried that, like, like the first time I flew to California, I didn't take my tripod because I thought that you couldn't have any metal on a plane. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. Because <laughs> I've never flown before at the time. Uh, <laughs> so I was like, is it okay to do that? And, like, I got there, they're like, yeah, dude, you could have brought fucking golf clubs. We don't give a shit. <laughs> and I was, I was like, fuck. Maybe not golf clubs. But, like, they, yeah, they don't care about that. You could beat somebody with a golf club. Huh? You could beat somebody with a golf club. You could beat somebody with a tripod. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot harder, though. Tripods are more awkward to, like, swing at people. Not like a little tripod. That's true. You, like, all three legs you and the center Savannah's, could be... Savannah's, like, really, like, nice tripod that she has? No. She just Why has a she nice... she have a nice one? She has a nice one just to take selfies. That's all she uses it for. <laughs> like, Savannah, Charlie... You're not one of those Charlie, girls, Charlie, are you? Charlie, it's so... Like, it's... It's so it's like it's one like rod going up, but like yeah. the way that supports are on the bottom and like the little handle it has, it's so fucking nice. I'm like, what do you use this for, Savannah? And she's like, oh, I like taking like good photos of myself, and I have a photographer. <laughs> I was like, Savannah, how much was that tripod? And she was like, oh, it's one hundred thirty dollars. Or something like that. It was ridiculous. I was like... Oh. <laughs> my God. <laughs> my big thing was ghost pepper salsa and 88. I ate 88 so often when I walked in the... When I walked in, the lady would tell me my order. And I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> Wait. Would tell me my... Oh, she would like already know what you're getting? I love her. She's great. Yeah. You, you meet the, the lady that takes orders like right there at the counter? She's awesome. I love her too. Can Get married in Michigan in the winter and fuck in the snow. It will be hot, I promise. I don't know about that. I honestly prefer people's real names from stream. Most of my friends, I call... Most of my friends, I call them by their actual names. Yeah, I don't like... Uh, like, if I get close to someone online, I try and learn their real name. Or at the very least, something that's kind of like a real name. Mm -hmm. Like, like I'm not going to say Bumper's real name, but I like saying Bumper more than I like saying his real name. <laughs> like, there's certain people... Like, 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 Shake's first name is a normal name. But shake, it's, chops. it's easy. No, <laughs> shake is an easy name to say, and it's a fun thing to say. We know it's shake. But like, if somebody's name was fucking like Cougar thirteen fifty three, I'm like, yeah, okay, you're Allison. <laughs> That's your name. I'm calling you out. Uh, the real thing you got to worry about on planes is shampoo. Yeah, nail yeah. clippers don't even get don't get me started. Creighton has a scent. Creighton has sent a fair number of poor fucks to early graves with golf clubs. <laughs> Jesus. It's true. I honestly don't know who my who knows my actual name. I know Dag and Fult say it every now and then. I also enjoy calling Dag by his... Yeah, Kieran. Kieran is... I hate Dag. I'd rather say Why Kieran. Why do you Dag? I just don't like... His it name is Eat My like Dag. Dad. His Eat name is dad. Eat My Dag. Eat My Dag. I don't like it. K-Ron. <laughs> K-Ron. Kieran. His name is Kieran Ludwig. <laughs> He's a Karen. He's a Karen. <laughs> Dude, I saw a Karen meme today. What was it? It was amazing. It was Karen's uh, saying that the K word, Karen, is just as bad as the N word. Hold on. Presley, Dag is funny, man. He is hilarious. Oh. Hold on, let me read it. Let me read it. Oh Karen is as oh, bad sorry. as the Come on. N word. Oh, she tripped over <laughs> my shoe and fell on her face. Nice. Okay, here we go. Stop saying Karen. Karen is a sexist and racist term equivalent to the N word for white women. Calling a, a woman Karen is an attempt to get is an attempt to get rid of women's right. What? To stand up for themselves. I didn't think it was a racial thing. It was more like a hair. Evie thing. needs pets. Yes, she does. Are you petting her? Yes, yes you are. Good. Okay. Like, listen, ladies. <laughs> That's just stupid. Uh, you you want to know? You want to know why Karen is not as bad as the N word? Because people's names are Karen. <laughs> what's up, my Karen? There, there are Karens. <laughs> what's, what's up, my Karen? 
<laughs> hey, yo, what up, Karen? <laughs> Imagine. We should start putting, like, like, get, uh... Karen gang signs. <laughs> just, just get, get, uh, toss and start having Karen in his raps. <laughs> Ah, uh, Karen. <laughs> Stupid idiots. There's like a movement online to stop being called a Karen. They're mad that people are like, okay, Karen. <laughs> it's not racist. That would be sexist. But yes, that's dumb. That's what I'm saying. I thought it was more like a haircut thing than anything. <laughs> uh, it also isn't rooted in some of the darkest times in American history. <laughs> Fucking Karens. I don't know. Well, the thing that I read, they were like, uh, it's worse than slavery because uh, the patriarchy has been around long before slavery was. And I was like, I was like, <laughs> you had to get up and take a walk. <laughs> Did you get a book? In wisdom, bro. <laughs> I was like, Yoda. He's talking help to Yoda. Me. Move your head so He's you can see lost Yoda. his mind. Boom, Yoda. Hey, Yoda. <laughs> He's lost his mind. Yoda's like He's the castle. <laughs> I'm trying to get in the castle. Yoda's the Yoda's <laughs> the new co-host. Isn't the same? It's the same as Kyle. Well, nah, because Kyle's different. Kyle's like, if you're a Kyle on the internet, what? Aren't you like just a dweeb or something? No, you drink monster. In like oh, you're one of those. Yeah. What, hold on. What is a Kyle? Oh, Kyle and Karen. Okay, it is two things. A Kyle and a Karen. A representative. A representative from Monster <laughs> Beverage Corp. Describes Kyle as generally presented Wait, is that as Urban rage Dictionary? filled. No, it's adage.com. Uh, he is a fan of Monster Energy drinks and Axe Body Spray, which has been documented in the Kyle Punches drywall meme. <laughs> Kyle <laughs> and Ur Karen meaning. Go to Urban Dictionary and look up Kyle. Okay. Urban. Oh shit. Dictionary. Kyle. Kyle, Urban Dictionary. Here we go. Okay. A Kyle. Are you going to load? Are you going to load? Are you going to load? A man who, even when browsing his name on Urban Dictionary, will get a, a ridiculous, ridiculous confidence, confidence boost. boost. Holy shit. Whoever this Kyle guy is, he seems pretty awesome. <laughs> Hashtag crack a lacking. Hashtag man. Hashtag dork. Hashtag sweet hot. Hashtag weirdo. Kyle is a funny guy. He always makes jokes about sex, but he's very lovable and cute. He can be a jerk, but it's hard to make him mad. He likes attention from girls. Wow, he is funny and cute. He is a Kyle. I hate this. Get a Kyle mug for your grandma Sarah. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait. Get a Creighton. Kyle mug for your grandma Sarah. Creighton, an awesome individual, generally held in very high esteem and are good at Wait, nearly everything urban... they do. That's every every urban... name is an urban dictionary. Hold on. Creightons are considered to be well endowed. Oh. And often experience large amounts of success with the opposite sex, never the same, never the same sex, because of a large because of the large amounts of success and the many friends that Creightons develop, they often gain more haters than any other group of people. Very true. These haters often try to downplay the greatness of a Creighton by deeming him annoying or nerdy. Despite his large pool of haters, Creightons have a much larger pool of allies than those f off haters. Is that Creighton? I hate him. I wish I was him. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> That's the conversation. <laughs> Creighton, really cool people, period. Damn. <laughs> the Creighton's oh. rock. Okay, hold on, wait. Do I do Charlie or Chris? Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, the sweetest guy you could ever meet. You'd be lucky to have him as a friend, and the luckiest person in the world to date him. Once you have him, don't let him go. He's incredibly sexy with an amazing personality, has an amazing sense of humor, knows how to make a girl feel like the world. You could never be bored while you're with Charlie. Amazing in bed. Winky face. Girl one. I wish I had my own Charlie. Sad face. <laughs> Hashtag sweet, cute, funny, awesome, sexy. Charlie. Crackhead. What? <laughs> Charlie is a literal crackhead. <laughs> That's the second definition. Charlie is a literal crackhead. <laughs> the third one. Charlie is... Okay, it's the same. that's just the first one again. I'm looking at the activity of my name. Apparently oh, I had hilarious. a really big boost in like oh. December of 2012. <laughs> <laughs> I am back. I went to watch an Avatar episode first time watching. By the way, don't spoil these. Oh my god, dude. You're in, such, you're in for such a treat. <sighs> All right. We're on the right. I'm going to look again. mine up. I'll never let you go. Charlie, you have two names. That's not fair, right? The second one is true. Yes, Charlie is literally a crackhead. Hurry, more names. This is awesome. <laughs> What's a name? Oh, Dilton. Is Dilton a name? Dilton. Okay. 
Dilton is one of Santa's elves, similar to the grumpy dwarf in Snow White, but smaller. Hates women and people who are different. <laughs> Ginger. Dilton is an angry elf. Damn. Dilton, it means you're gay. Typically used by children when bullying other children. Milton's a Dilton, Milton's a Dilton, they all chanted. Damn. Dilton, what's your real look up, name? Look up my mom's Motherfucker, name. what? <laughs> the second was, what'd you say? Look up my mom's name. <clears throat> okay. Kimberly. Okay. She is shy. Kimberly. She is shy at first, but once you get to meet her, she is one of the. She is one crazy motherfucker. <laughs> she is kind, funny, and just amazing to be friends with. She's the only person you would want to be with at any time. Kimberly will cheer you up if you are sad. If you mess with Kimberly, she would kill you. <laughs> person one. Who is that? Person two. That's Kimberly. <laughs> person one. She is super pretty. I think I'm in love. That doesn't check out with what the definition is. <laughs> I looked at my grandma's name. It had a really big boost in February 2014. <laughs> You're having a lot of fun with the like boosts like, when they were popular. And then it dropped. Like, we got... uh, Dalton, that one is a lot better than me being a Keebler fucking elf. Okay, Dalton, here we go. Dalton. Wait, is it Owen? Dalton? Yeah, Dalton. Okay, Dalton, here we go. Dalton. Strong, confident, outgoing, smart, handsome, athletic, stubborn, with a huge heart, funny oftentimes, being the class clown who loves family more than he cares to admit. I wish I was a Dalton. Hashtag Dalton. <laughs> hashtag love. Hashtag carrots. Hashtag potato. Hashtag outgoing. Look up Kristen's name. Kristen? Yeah. <laughs> Kristen, a girl that's there for you. Even when you've been through some rough times, she's always laughing and smiling, which makes you do so... Which makes you do so also. Her mood almost always seems happy, even though when she does have a, even when she does have a temper. Beauty is Kristen. Kristen is beauty. She may not believe it, but when she's looking at herself in a mirror, wait. She may not believe it when she's looking at herself in a mirror, but you see it. People see it. Kind at heart, humorous, and a mind in the gutters. There's really too much to explain about this wonderful girl. An amazing friend, an amazing person. I love you, Kristen. Chrissy C. Colon. Hashtag beauty. Hashtag beautiful. Hashtag Kristen. Hashtag Chrissy. Hashtag amazing. Aw. It had a really big spike in December 2016. Where do you see the spikes? Where's that at? There's a graph right here next to Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. That's the usage of it, I believe. Like, people naming people, Kristen? No, I think, like, the usage of it in society. So, naming people. I guess Probably. uh, (laughs) Well, I looked up swag a a minute ago, and it's on decline. What is? Swag. Courses. Ooh, me, me, pick me. Okay, here we go. Nick. <laughs> Nick, 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 some asshole that will steal your bagel. <laughs> hey, remember Nick? That asshole stole my bagel. Hashtag bagel, hashtag asshole, hashtag name, hashtag Nick, hashtag thief. Damn. Damn, they really There's got to be a different you. one. A fucking legend. <laughs> That's the second definition. Uh, F O K I N, a fucking legend. <laughs> Girl, damn, that guy looks like a legend. No shit, that's Nick. <laughs> I like the second one. Oh, okay, hold on, here's the normal one. Nick is the most amazing guy. He's extremely attractive, but modest. Very popular, but still friendly. He is very stylish and humble at the same time. Nick cares, Nick cares about his friends and adores his family and is quite protective about the ones he loves. He is always there for those who need him, friend or no friend. He likes to be around the ladies, and they all adore him. Nick is a wonderful son, an amazing brother, a loyal friend, and a per- perfect lover. If Nick loves you, then nothing else really matters. Hashtag Nikki. Hashtag Nikki with I-E. Hashtag amazing. Hashtag cutie. Hashtag wonderful. <laughs> Pick number three, my lord. If you... Wait. If only we could search Copenhagen. Oh, wait. Oh. What's Copenhagen's real name? Copen... I don't know. Copen... Hagen. Is there a way to say it as a name? Smokers Tobacco. <laughs> Brand. Look up, look up Pussy. Pussy? Yeah, it's fucking hilarious. Pussy. <laughs> Something men babies spend nine months getting out of and the rest of their lives trying to get back into. Damn. <laughs> I got... I got to get me into some pussy. Hashtag box. Hashtag twat. Hashtag home base. Hashtag snatch. Hashtag, hashtag slice of heaven. Jesus. I just read that. I'm sorry, Nana. I'm sorry, Kimberly. Do Isaiah and Matt. Get, okay, get a pussy mug for your friend Callisto. Callisto. <laughs> <laughs> 
You have me way too much. <laughs> Isaiah, the guy who can make even the saddest person laugh. He has an amazing personality, oh, very funny sweet. and very cute. He also seems to have a twinkle in his eye. He is very outgoing, but is also very quiet. He seem he may seem aggressive, but it takes a very special person to see the sweet person he really is and bring out the hopeless romantic that he is as well. Anyone who is lucky enough to have an Isaiah in their life is very lucky and should cherish him. Isaiah is really gay. Whoa! <laughs> no, I didn't That's say that. really, like, spot on. <laughs> right? Imagine. Isaiah makes me laugh and always knows how to make me smile. Hashtag Isaiah. Hashtag boy. Hashtag oh. cute. Hashtag funny. Hashtag blue eyed. Blue eyed. Blue eyed. Oh, Isaiah. That, that, uh, Savannah, not... Isaiah does have blue eyes. Do Savannah. Savannah? Hold on, I'm going to do Matt first. Okay. I was on the list. Matt. A mat, oh my god! It's a paragraph. <laughs> a mat, or just mat, will make the best boyfriend slash guy a friend. Matt, or just mat? It says, or just mat with one T. So, <laughs> mat, or just mat with one T, will make the best boyfriend slash guy friend ever. With their big brown eyes and heart melting smile, it's hard not to fall for them. They are different in a beautiful way. Even though they've had a bad past, you'll never know it. They are really strong. That's really ominous. They're really strong people, and they change for the better. They are good when you need them, and they value their friendships. They look. They like to look good and dress well, handsome and charming. Very successful at life, make great dads. Known to be players, but when they meet that special gear, girl, they're sold. Mats come off as tough and solid, but deep down, their soft side comes out, and you see the sweet gentleman in them. They're not popular, but not a loner either. Friends love them, and guys want to be him. They have a really laid-back attitude about themselves, but at the same time, they can be the life of the party, even though they can be a jerk at times. They mean well and are really the nicest guys ever. If you have a mat, don't let him go. None other compares. Look at that mat over there. He's so handsome. Hashtag Matt. Hashtag Matt with one T. Hashtag Matthew. Hashtag Matthew. Hashtag cute. Hashtag boy. Hashtag great. Hashtag hot. Hashtag boyfriend. Hashtag lover. Hashtag Donald Trump. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I added the Donald Trump. Uh, okay, so how do you spell Savannah's? R Savannah Savannah? Uh, X A B. No, S A B A N N A. No H. No H. <clears throat> Savannah's. H is so, no, there is no H. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole new kind of silent. It's so silent. It's not, it's not even there. there. Savannah, God damn it. I hate you. Savannah's are some of the most beautiful girls ever. Silent. They dye there. their hair a lot and are overall adorable. No matter who you are, you want a Savannah in your life. Once you start liking her, it's hard to stop. It's so hard to not like her. She will give you butterflies every time you see her. No matter how... Hold on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. The bisexual is the name of the account that made this urban dictionary. <laughs> this that, that made this one. She will give you butterflies every time you see her. No matter how prepared you are for it, Savannahs have beautiful blue eyes and usually don't know Savannah, did you write this? <laughs> and usually every time you see her, no matter how prepared you are for it, Savannahs have beautiful blue eyes and usually don't know their own beauty. You will have the strongest crush on your life on a Savannah, and it will last a surprisingly it will last a surprising amount of time. You'll always want to kiss her softly. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Hold her hand, hug her, and play with her. Even though you know you can't. What? You will what? like her before you really become before you really even become friends, so be prepared. Whoa! <laughs> Consistent daydreams about her also will are also frequent. While with the Savannah, your heart will break because she isn't yours. While you have butterflies every because you're near her, you can't ask a Savannah for a hug. You have to wait for a Savannah to ask you. Ew! Savannahs won't Savannahs won't want you to pay for things or give them your jackets, but do it anyway. Savannahs deserve it all the well. I whoever wrote this is fucked. Up, ew, sounds oh, like I really shit. into a Savannah, dude. That is like I got goosebumps. That like creeped me out. It's like the plot of you or some shit. I looked up Evie, and Evie says the most amazing girl you will ever meet. Amazing, K-H. like did you spell it right? And down to earth because she's Evie's short. a sweet girl. She gets no, bored. No, that's a long one. This one below it is better. Oh, okay, it's more accurate. The most amazing girl you ever meet. Amazing, caring, and down to earth. Beautiful smile and amazing body. Great sense of humor. Yeah, <laughs> that's my dog. <laughs> the Savannah one spiraled out of control real fast, bro. It was horrifying. That was like so. Hold Savannah. on, let me see if there's a Savannah. Get the fuck it, Savannah. Savannah with an H. Let's see if there's any different. 
Uh, okay. I was going to read it first this time. <laughs> Excuse me. The most kindest and sweetest girl you'll ever meet. She may be quiet at first, but once you get once you get to know her, she will be the craziest and funnest person you've ever met. What the fuck was that? <laughs> that, that, that story. You, usually a... <laughs> her head is against Creighton's leg and she's just... So like cute. snoring. I love it. Uh, usually a brunette, but can also be a blonde. If you ever need advice, talk to Savannah. She has the best advice. Savannah does have the best advice. If you ever need meet a Savannah, <laughs> be sure to say hi because you won't regret it. Oh, did I mention Savannahs make good girlfriends? Oh, Jesus. It's Fuck another, off. another another one of those. Another one of those. Weird how genetics work. Uh, apparently, <laughs> right? there's like uh, Urban Dictionary word of the day. Olga, do Olga. Hey. What's the word of the day? So the word of the day is doomer, a lack of faith in humanity or people in general. <laughs> Olga. <laughs> Olga's a term used... Oh, my God. What is it? Nope. <laughs> I'll let you guys all look that one up yourself. Olga uh, is a, We are all indeed very lucky to have Isaiah. Kayla, do Kayla? Okay, I can do Kayla. Every so slightly. Stop! Whoa, <laughs> shut the fuck up! Kayla, a gorgeous young lady who is really goofy, but everyone loves her. She has a way of making you happy when you're sad, and also when you, you doubt yourself. Boys love her. If you have a girlfriend named Kayla, she's a keeper. She is nice and very thoughtful. She will always be a friend when you need... She will always be a friend when you need one, but if you make her mad or sad, she does have a bad side, and you don't want to get on it. Sometimes Kayla can be annoying... Sometime, sometimes Kayla can be annoying at some point, but she is always by your side. Damn, learn how to use some fucking punctuation, people. Kayla had a giant spike in July of 2014. Example one, boy. Dude, you see that girl? Who is she? Girl, a uh, girl. You, Yeah, what about her? Boy, dang, she fine. I'm gonna ask her out. Well, of course, she is a Kayla. That definition, what the fuck? Tell us, Charlie. The people want to know Olga. No, fuck you. I'll post the link in Discord. There you go. He'll post the link. <laughs> Jesus. It was a lot to read. What about, uh, about Flint? Is Flint a name? Or Clint. Oh, there's, there's a name for Flint. Flint. Flint is someone who has very strong opinions of others and is the, for is the form self-opinionated. And in the form... In the what? And in the form self-opinionated. I don't know. The punctuation right? is garbage. Holding to one's opinion stubbornly and unreasonably. Okay, never mind. I don't think the name Flint. A person who is emo and has down. Oh. Who has what? Huh. What? A person who. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Time, try Tries to, to date but doesn't go well. Not funny. Yeah. Damn. Wow. A pussy asshole. In other words, a complete bitch. Oh, fuck off, Flint. Why did people One of the like bullies Flint called me a Flint. <laughs> I don't know, bro. People, people got it. People, Flint's got it rough, bro. I'm sorry, Flint. Flint, you don't deserve that. You're a good, you're good guy. Snipes. Snipes. Is that you're it? good. <laughs> an insanely... Uh, a, a very attractive girl, usually used by hockey players from the north. Boys, boys, look at all the fucking Snipes out tonight. <laughs> New England slang for a scavenged, partially smoked cigarette. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing in New England? Hold on. Wait, was it snipe? Okay, so snipe. Very attractive girl. What's the one that was showing? Why was it showing a different thing? Okay, never mind. Snape, Snape, Severus Snape. Okay, Snape. 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 Severus Snape. Dumbledore. Dumbledore. <laughs> Sticky purple, dank, Douglets of sweet, sweet weed. <laughs> Sticky, gooey, residuey, all that good shit wrapped up in a swisher or blackwood leaf. Snape sticks, snape bars, snape bundles, etc. Born out of the nasty North Berkeley in California. Synonymous with grapes, a popular strain of, a strain of purple weed. Person. <coughs> Damn, these snapes is fiery, son. Shit's got me coughing like a little bitch blood. Damn. <laughs> Person B, for show, fool. These are some potent snapes. Person A, word. I looked up Clem. I, did you actually? What's, <laughs> hold on. It's Clem. So, it's so weird. Uh, 
<laughs> Northeast England, colloquial term used to replace the unit of imperial measure of a stone in weight. Man, Clem's fat. <laughs> Hold on. You gotta, you gotta screen cap that for I am. I'm tweeting it right now. <laughs> that big girl over there must weigh at least 30 Clem. <laughs> is, the def- is the thing. <laughs> Bro. Uh, Hold on. I have to tweet now. I'm gonna retweet that. <laughs> Uh, I'm back. We doing Harry Potter names? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should do Harry Potter names. Brandon with an O. Let's do Brandon. Wait, hold on. What was the one I did before? Hold on. Do first. Mexican Halloween. Yo, so when I read Snapes, I didn't read it how it's written. It's written like to rhyme. Sticky purple dang duglets of sweet, sweet weed. Sticky gooey, residuey, all that good shit wrapped in a swisher sweet or blackwood leaf. Snape sticks, snape bars, snape bundles, etc. Born out of the nasty North Berkeley in California. Bro, that <laughs> fucking... Dude, that goes hard. That's, a, that's poetry right <laughs> Snape now. suckling savage, savage is the one that updated that in 2007. Oh, okay, the second one is a professor. Hogwarts, blah, blah, blah. Okay, wait, so Brandon with an O. Brandon. Oh my ass wagon. That is a big... Brandon is one of the most amazing guys you'll ever meet. He's extremely caring and as, as sweet as well as funny and intelligent. Winning an argument with a Brandon is quite a feat. No, it's not. Hard on himself and his looks, but very cocky about his intelligence. Yes. Girl, no. Girls always flock to Brandon's because his humor is very attractive to the people around him. On the outside, Brandon's appear like assholes and meanie. <laughs> and meanies. Who wrote that? A ten year old? I don't know, comma. But the people closest to him know deep down he's a sweetheart. Brandon will do anything for the person they love. Brandon will do anything for the person they love. He will love you forever, as long as you do the same. Can't be with anyone. Needs to true love of needs needs to true love of one to make him happy. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely loyal and protective, able to make you feel super special, like you're, like you're the only girl in the world. Because of him, you are. Brandon's love doing, Brandon's love doing unexpected romantic things for the person they love. Hates being left out the of conversations and gatherings. Timid at first, but when warmed up, it, but when warmed up to, isn't afraid to show passion and emotion. Fuck. Someone who can talk to... Someone who you can talk to and will truly listen. Not the best at making conversation, but will always try his best. Amazing friend and boyfriend. Love him with everything you have, and he will make you his entire world. Hannah, you and Brandon are still together. It's been forever. Becca, yeah, he loves me to the moon and back. (laughs) Look at Mexican Halloween. (laughs) What? (laughs) Scroll all the way down to the bottom. Don't read the first part. So, why? Because it's a spoiler for community. It's the fourth one down. Fourth one? Yeah. A man has... Oh. <laughs> on a costume as a person... Oh. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Mexican Halloween truck. <laughs> I know a girl named Becca in middle school. She said I wouldn't amount to anything in life during cooking class. <laughs> during cooking class. Wait, how'd you spell it? Which, which Becca? Uh, Becca. Okay. Now she works at Dairy Queen. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> Damn, shit on Becca. Becca, Becca is an amazing Becca person who hair? can be crazy yet so attractive. Who has a wonderful, cute... Nah, we hate Becca and this is too long for me to read. One of the coolest friends you'll ever have. No, where's a shitty Becca? Young Becca... Becca, must, Becca, 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 slang term for a wizard's girlfriend. Hark, Lancelot, here arriveth Merlin with his smoking Becca. <laughs> <laughs> Urban Dictionary is so awesome. <laughs> Becca. <laughs> Are you a chef now? <laughs> Why would you ask him that? We all know it's a no. Dude, oh, Quentin. Oh, you forgot Quentin. Quentin. 
that one amazing boyfriend that everyone wishes they could have. His girlfriend mm, is very lucky to have him. She wouldn't trade him for the world. He's also very sexy, tall, kind, funny, <laughs> and all and and an all around great person to be around. Trust me, period. Wow, I wish I could be a Quentin. Quentin's pretty great. Quentin is a very handsome guy. He is very handsome. sexy, the most boyfriend, most awesome people. The honor of this a sexy boy. I just want like shit talking ones. Hey, he don't want to know, can I bring up Game of Thrones before I go to bed? You're the only friend I have that I can talk about it with, other than that one coworker by home. <laughs> Sounds like home. Uh what do you want to talk about Game of Thrones, bro? I watched it earlier for the first time in a minute. Game of Thrones. I love Game of Thrones. Here, King of the Monsters. I hate you. <laughs> While I wait for Dilton to talk about Game of Thrones, I'm gonna read Chris. Never mind, that's a lot. What? What? Just just scroll down to one that's shorter. I know, but Chris, all the bitches like Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. I love that one. That's the greatest definition. Like, ever. That's what I'm saying. If you don't like the first one, just scroll down. <laughs> Sexy ass beast in the sheets. Any Chris has an unbelievably large private part, and they are great at using it. A great name for a great outgoing person would be Chris. <laughs> By Chris the Great, January 31st, 2017. <laughs> I've been watching an absurd amount of Game of Thrones extras and shit like that because it makes me happy and sad. Have you seen the special they did that Conan hosted after the last season? Yes, it was so great. That means penis! Yes. What was the special that Conan hosted? He, like, had the cast on and just talked to them about the show. About it. Did you watch the final episode, the, uh, the like, making of season eight? No. Nathan! Hello, Nathan. Although I do have it. Like, you, you should know. watch it. It's phenomenal. Like, like, you're going to want to talk about it so much. I can't <laughs> believe you haven't seen it. It's about, so it's about the production, yeah. but there's, like, a star, and the star is an extra who came in in season, like, four or five mm-hmm. and was there for the rest of the show as, like, a Stark, uh, like, a soldier. And then he's, like, in a bunch of episodes, like, in the background. There's a couple scenes, like, of him, just the camera's just on him for, like, a second. And, like, he's a giant Game of Thrones nerd. And, like, he loves that he's on the show. And it took him two years to make season eight. And they were making a documentary the whole two years. And they have him, and, like, he's the main point of view of the documentary. So the p- documentary is about this extra who's a giant Game of, Th- fans fan, Game of Thrones fan. Game of fans fan. <laughs> Game of Thrones fan and how much fun he has being on Game of Thrones and talking to the other extras and teaching them how to do things. And he's like this big, goofy, nerdy guy. But he's also like fucking 6'3", like j- just this big ass dude. Yeah. And he's like the sweetest, happiest, nicest guy ever. And like, I don't want to say what happens... It's so good, and it's like the most wholesome shit. <laughs> while watching a thing about Game of Thrones, and the same like it's not only about him, but like I'd say like it's a, like sixty percent of it's about him. Uh, th- it, it talks about the guy who's in charge of snow. They have a guy lead snow. He has an Emmy for lead snow on Game of Thrones, and uh, he's like this quiet guy who's really lead good at putting snow, snow down. What does that mean? He's the lead snow on Game of Thrones. Like you put snow down, like actual snow down. Snow? No, it's, it's fake snow, but it's like he oh. he's the guy who does the snow. Mm. <laughs> and it's one of the things he's that won makes an Emmy game. for that he won an Emmy for it that's awesome for Leeds Snow please pardon please do me please oh okay Clem said who do you think you are huh Nathan <laughs> oh wait Clem said <laughs> he said who do you think you are huh <laughs> I don't know dude bro why does Sean Bean not give a fuck about any of them <laughs> wait oh I, I don't know bro he was only there for a season Chris I always knew you had a big vagina <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I, uh, let's see. It only makes sense to do Nathan now. Okay, let me see. Nathan, if you call a Nathan Nathaniel, he'll kill you. <laughs> That's the first. <laughs> Normally, a guy who is addicted to eating ice cubes. <laughs> what the fuck? Nathan, if you're reading this, hi, mom. Hey, mom, from Nathan. Uh, okay, here's a big one. One of the greatest guys alive. He can be quiet and serious, but suddenly turns into his, this chatty, bubbly, hilarious person, can attest. Someone who understands how to act dif- about around different people. He takes other people's thoughts into mind. He can spend hours thinking of something that means a lot to him. One of the... Obviously. One of the best boyfriends. He's sweet, reliable, trustworthy, loving, caring, etc. He's... Etc. Really? He's all of those. <laughs> He's one of the funnest people to hang around with, whatever the weather. He can be flirty, but also knows how to just be a simple friend. Any person who knows a Nathan is tr- is 
any person who knows a Nathan is truly, period, <laughs> lucky, and to be his girlfriend, then they're truly blessed, period. What? He's also one of the greatest friends you could ever have. He can relate to things that you that you say, understands how to talk to someone depending, depending their mood. He can be quirky at times, at, is never seen without a smile in his eyes. Oh my god. Girls' hearts melt around him. He has a story to tell. A huge dog lover. A guy named Nathan is like an angel from heaven. You don't expect to need him to be in your life. <sighs> Excuse me. But once he is, you realize how much you do need him and how much you never want to loose, loose, loose him. L-O-O-S-E, loose. <laughs> you couldn't loose him. <laughs> Exclamation point. <laughs> you couldn't loose him. Nathan, you can't loose him or he'll get out <laughs> and he'll attack don't you. Loose him. Nathan is a pleasure to both guys and girls. Hmm. He can, he's, can't, he's, he apostrophe S can have a laugh, give advice, be blunt. You can talk to him about anything. He's the most beautiful creature alive. Yes. When you see him, when you see him, you smile, either on the out or inside. <laughs> either on the out or Or even inside. both. He's such a, S-U-C-H-A, he's such a great guy. X X. XX. Nathan's so amazing. I'm so lucky to have a Nathan. Damn, my Nathan is beautiful. Hashtag Nathan. Hashtag great. Hashtag anal. Hashtag beautiful. Hashtag fit. Hashtag funny. Hashtag amazing. Jesus. God. Jesus. Clem is fat. I agree, Blake. Did the people who wrote these pass English class? I doubt it. It's Urban Dictionary. You don't have to be like a philosopher. <laughs> the best one's the greatest if you call a nathan nathaniel he'll kill you that's fucking awesome normally a guy who's addicted to eating ice cubes <laughs> bro is uh, clem a war name is clem like oh wait we already did, yeah, clem. We did what clem. am i saying yeah. uh blake let's check out blake dude be blocky blocky <laughs> you mean blake if y'all come in here with a silly ass name again, uh, any funny ones? They're all like real ones. Okay, I'll read a big one. Uh, read a big one, Charlie. Get that big one out of there. A Blake is usually a guy that girls fall for. He's sometimes perverted, but his other qualities outshine this. Whoa. <laughs> a Blake is known for his charm and humor. If you are fortunate enough to befriend one, cherish it. Having a Blake is in. Having a Blake in your life is not someone, something to take lightly. They are the most wonderful people out there and will make you <laughs> smile a countless number of times. They are great to talk to, and once you meet one, you won't forget them. Blake is an awesome guy. Lies. Did the people who wrote... Uh, wait, what? I, thought, I saw it move again. This fucking animation fucking up my thing. Hey, Clem, what are you saying, bro? What do you mean, who do I think I am? You, you didn't like my tweet? I thought it was a pretty good tweet. It's pretty funny. I retweeted it. You didn't even like it. Oh, you didn't even like it? That's crazy, Clem. You're not even going to like it? Clem saw it. That's crazy, like Clem. It. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy, Clem. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy, Clem. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, Clem. I can't believe you, Clem. That's crazy, Clem. <laughs> he left already? Wow. My man came in here and said, who do you think you are, huh? I didn't left. I didn't left. Aw. Wait. She's going to get mad at me. What? <coughs> what did you do? Deanna. <laughs> Someone with the name Deanna is loving, smart, pretty, and funny. She will never try to hurt you on purpose. She's outgoing and a blast to be around. If you know a Deanna, get to know her before judging her. You might just end up loving her. She is someone who is very independent. She's a social butterfly. A goddess. A dream. Perfect. If you ever find a Deanna, never let her go, all caps, exclamation point. It sounds like a simp wrote this. It sounds like Nick wrote this. <laughs> Not our Nick, but Super Soaker 69 Swag Nick. Isn't it Nick the one that dates her? No. Uh, somebody dates her. No. Nobody dates her? She has a boyfriend, but not like anyone we know in the community. Oh. Uh, who is it that we know in the co that you know in the community that like has a boyfriend that you also know in the community? We were talking about that one time. No. Oh, um, uh, my friend E-Train dates a girl named Marie, who is also in the community. Not Marina? Or Destiny. No, not Marina. Marina is a lesbian. Oh. The British... 
The let the British let Princess Diana go. Oh, Jesus! Fuck! <laughs> Why'd you say that? He's right though. They they had her killed. They didn't have her killed. They had her killed. They probably had her killed. They got tired of her fucking up. So they... <laughs> That's rough. That's true. That is rough, buddy. <laughs> That's uh, that's a marina. <laughs> that's a marina. <laughs> marina, one of the best people you'll ever meet. Yes. So never let go of her because if you have feelings, you will want her, but you know she does not like you. Damn. Never let go of her. Never let go of her is a sentence that comes as a tip. Hold on, I need a better one. She's someone who is inspiring, someone talented, and a keeper. She is the cutest thing you've ever saw, and one of the most lovable girls out there. Once you come in contact. With one, there is no denying that she is the best girl any man would die for. Any man would die for? My Marina is just one of the greatest friends. She's a one in a million. Don't ever lose her because you'll never find anyone like her. She joins you in your weirdness. There we go. That's my <laughs> Marina. <laughs> Damn, you really said the British. Le Click the randomize button, see what pops up. Or is that at? Like shuffle? Heidi. Heidi is the best. Of all the guys, all of the guys wish they could get a girl like Heidi, but there aren't any. Heidi. She is better than any Hannah, Abigail, Ella, Riley, or Kat, Caitlin you will ever, that you'll ever meet. Her name isn't typical, and neither is she. Heidi is the smartest girl you'll ever meet. She is kind of, nah, I want a weird, I want weird ones. Meetspin.com. This website where one dude is writing another dude <laughs> is, okay, let's do another one. Nope, let's do another one. Which way nope, either. let's do another one. <laughs> getting some weird ones is what I'm getting. <laughs> God damn. Randomize. <gasps> Randomize! Are you gonna... Okay. Am I gonna what? No, like I was talking to the, the website. I was being stupid. You can talk to the website. Spiffy. Used to describe someone as unique or amusing. Similar usage. Oh, wait. Uh... Click fucking Duflachi. Duflachi. Oh, hey. Flint's, or Dilton's got a good idea. Duflachi. What's his idea? Or Flint. Oh, yeah, that's Flint. Uh, he said click the randomizer. That's what I've button. been doing. That's oh. why I'm reading these weird ones. Like Duflachi. Yeah. Noun. A person whose name you don't know and you don't care. If you if you know that you have no idea what their name is. What? Hey, Duflachi. No one cares, so shut up. <laughs> you fucking Duflachi. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, drain the swamp. Oh, okay. I don't want to be political. Soft. S-A-W-F-T, all caps. A phrase used by a tag team in WWE. My name is Enzo Amor, and I am a certified G and a bona fide stud. And you can't <laughs> teach that. And this right here, this is Big Cass, and he's seven foot tall, and you can't teach that. And this right here, this is Carmella. She's hot as hell. You can't teach that. Bada boom. Realest guys in the room. How you doing? There's only one word to describe you, and I'm going to spell it out. S-A-W-F-T soft. I hate this website now. <laughs> dench. Another meaning for sick or nice. If something is, is well dench, you can say that it is well Judy Dench. That was dench, brother. <laughs> well, look at her son. She is well, Judy, Judy Dinch. That's obviously a British thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, this shit's Dinch. <laughs> I love that, though. Judy, because Judy Dinch is amazing. What? Go away. Lurk. No. Simp. Ha Harris. Okay, you know what? Let's see Urban Dictionary's I think we version did of simp. simp. One time. Yeah. Man that puts his. Okay, we have. This yeah. is where we've looked at it before. What's similar to that? That pops up. A man who puts the hose before the bros. <laughs> similar? Yeah. How do you find similar? It should be at the bottom, like at the very bottom. <clears throat> what do we got? G checked. What's that? Gangsta way to, auto to correct someone. Gangsta check. To put someone in place after trying to get out on you. <laughs> He G checked the What's shit the out of them when they that? hit. I'm about to. They G checked the shit out of hit them when they hit his car with rocks. G checked to be robbed. <laughs> be robbed, <laughs> robbing. Damn, she stole your money. You got G checked by her. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Wh Wh Witches kiss. 
Don't look. Uh, don't look. I want you to guess. Don't look. I want you to guess. Don't look. What, fuck what like, I... I said don't look and you look. Whoa. <laughs> like a fucking vomit. Uh, it's like two vaginas touching. Witch's kiss. The cold, wet... <laughs> fuck. The cold, wet sensation of your penis when your penis accidentally touches the porcelain of a toilet bowl. Jerry made the mistake of cleaning over... Of leaning over to tie his shoelace while on the throne and felt the intimate touch of a witch's kiss. <laughs> I think on that we're going to wrap it for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a good stream, everybody. We talked about a lot of things. Uh, we grew close I have together. to work. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, hey, Tim. <clears throat> How long have you been here? <laughs> we didn't talk about you or your government name. We did an Urban Dictionary, your government name, if that's what you're thinking. Oh, you should have just done straight up Tim. I tried. It's not a no, thing. it's not. Uh, Hello? What? I don't know what you're Do Tim now? Yeah, do Tim. Okay, fuck it. I thought Tim wasn't a thing. No, I'll do I'll do her name, though. No, what? Wait, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing's happening. <laughs> 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 <clears throat> Someone with the name Deanna is loving, smart, pretty, and funny. She will never try to hurt you on purpose. She's outgoing and had a blast in it. She's outgoing and a blast to be around. If you know a Deanna, get to know her before judging her. You might just end up loving her. She is someone who is very independent. She's a social butterfly, a goddess, a dream. Perfect. If you ever find Deanna, never let her go. Likes anal. Whoa. That's a that's, weird thing. That's, that's a weird thing to tag on at the end. <laughs> uh, Is who it are we true, Tim? Do you like Angle? Oh, I gotta rate Clem. He's live. Clem's live. <laughs> yeah, I gotta rate him. There's no way I don't rate him after talking shit. He's gonna be mad at me. <laughs> uh, I came to say good night to my friends, and now I am afraid. <laughs> they have. Re well, hold on. Let me see if we there's some dumb ones. Too, Let me see if there's some stupid ones. Hold on. Most thoughtful, a stunning girl, Deanna's truly a unique person, a beautiful woman. Beautiful. There's girl. no bitch ones. There's no like she's a bitch. <laughs> There's no like she's ugly. We'll have to add she one. She wears a wig. <laughs> <laughs> Raid. Clem season. Everybody go in there and say, Hey man, you look like stones. You look like you're a unit of measurement. Say you're that. Like, Are He'll you know. stone? <laughs> I love you guys. We love you too, love Tim. You guys have a good so night. Much. Listen, you guys have a great night. We'll um, see you next week. See you on Monday for sure. Potentially like a Saturday if some crazy shit happens, but probably not. Yeah. I have to work tomorrow and Sunday, so we'll see. I you guys have, have a great night. night forever. <laughs> you guys have a great Until night. I go to the beach. Have a great night and uh, and keep surviving. Go do some Mexican Halloweens. <laughs> I'll put that.